What is up YouTube? Chief J here. Gosh, it's been a while since I've actually done a vlog like that. I'm back from my North Carolina trip and the day that I left for North Carolina, or not the day of, but the, the night before I left, I got word um, that Jeff, the Florida rider, uh, passed away that night. Now, um, in light of that, I have a little story that I want to share with you guys. My little piece of the Florida rider, so to speak, or, or my little story involving him. So, I had the honor of meeting Jeff once, um, last October. October of 2014 at the uh, the 2014 Tampa Motor Vlogger meetup. So uh, I guess this is sort of Tampa Stories Part Three, but um, I think this story is really it's a good re reflection of the kind of person that Jeff was. So I know I mentioned in some of my other videos that. Um, Palm Beach Rider and I were late. Well, um, here's what happened. When we were leaving South Florida, we were supposed to text, or I was supposed to text uh, Jeff and let him know we were leaving so that he'd have a rough idea because we were supposed to have dinner with him. Now, I... We left late because I had originally told him that we were going to be in Tampa and I thought we were going to be in Tampa around like 7 p.m. or so is what I figured. But we left a lot later than, than that and um, I sent Jeff a text and I told him that we were running late. Well, I made a mistake and sent it to the wrong number. So Jeff never got my text. Um, I didn't realize my mistake until we were already halfway to Tampa and it was already way late. It was, it was already like an hour past when I told him we were gonna be there and it was only, and, and we still had it, we were only halfway there. Um, anyways, when we told, we did get in touch with Jeff and told him our mistake, he was like, oh, you know, no biggie. Let me know when you guys get to Tampa. Well, we got there at like 10 o'clock. And you know who was waiting there for us to take us to our hotel room? Jeff. Um, I wouldn't have, I don't think anyone could have blamed him if he would have just said, all right, you know, guys, you're like three, four hours late. So, you know, tough luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the meetup. But he didn't do that. He still came out and, and met us and, and had dinner with us and everything. I told Jeff at that dinner, I told him that he's, he, he's one of the most real people I've ever met. And what I mean by that is what you saw with Jeff is in exactly what you got. There was no persona. There was no, no anything like that. Florida Rider was Jeff. And I think that's something that is kind of rare on the internet. Jeff is somebody that I considered to be a friend. We didn't, I'm not going to say we saw eye to eye or anything, and he was human, just like any of us, but he didn't, he didn't care about his channel or, or anything like that. And that's, and you know, when I say he didn't care about his channel, I don't mean like he, he what I'm trying to say is he didn't care about his, Je Jeff didn't care about his channel. Jeff cared about his viewers. And I think that's, that's a very big difference. You look at, at this, the, his, 
long running series as the best motovloggers you're not watching. I mean, Jeff was not by any stretch a huge YouTuber, but he would do everything he could within his power to, to help channels out, to help other vloggers out. And, and he just, he was a very genuine person. A lot of people may not have known him, but the motovlogging community lost someone very important when they lost Jeff the Florida Rider. And I don't think that, I, I know that there's never going to be anyone else like him. So Jeff, wherever you are, Ride in peace, buddy. I'm sure you're, uh, to paraphrase, I think it was Sticker Bomb, or to directly quote, I should say, Sticker Bomb. I'm sure he's telling everyone up in heaven all about the best motovloggers they're not watching. So, I guess, to close this log, I'll give it a shot. Hey YouTube, this is the Florida Rider. <laughs> we all miss you, Jeff, and we all love you. <laughs> that the lower back pain is coming back. <laughs> it's yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm I'm disconnected to seeing us. <laughs>